Hey guys, what's up? This is Dr. Chris with Elite Chiropractic and Performance in Chesterfield, Missouri. Today's addition to the Tee to Green Golf Performance Vault is an exercise that's a play on a common thing that we see done in the gym called the lateral raise. So it's called the lateral raise with shoulder turn. So this is very important because it can get a little bit more strength and stability around the shoulder blade and the actual shoulder itself while adding thoracic rotation, which is ever so important when it comes to a good backswing and downswing to help generate a little bit more power. So before we get into the exercise, um, we'll point out some faults that I see with the lateral raise. So you could do the lateral raise with a dumbbell or a weight of some kind as you raise up. You can also use resistance bands that are anchored to something or most commonly, or my preferred method, is using a cable machine. So with the cable machine, just want to point out what I see a lot done in the gym, which is a lot of just throwing the shoulder out there, which you'll feel it around the deltoid area, which is what we want, but there's a little too much hiking or shrugging of the shoulder. So they're incorporating their upper trap a little bit too much. So if you start doing this, you know, you might be fine and then you start increasing weight and you're going a little bit too quick. That's where we see a lot of those rotator cuff injuries. It's almost akin to the patient that walks in and they injure their shoulder trying to start their lawnmower. It's almost the same motion. So with that being said, with all exercises, have a good alignment and position to start. Give your body a chance to recruit all the right muscles. What that'll look like is good neutral spine, get head in good neutral position. For the shoulder blade, I like to set it first and then initiate the movement. So I give it a little bit of retraction and I'm, I'm tilting it backwards. I'm just setting it right where I can feel a little bit of activation to start. And then I laterally raise like that. So instead of just feeling it around the shoulder, I also feel it around the shoulder blade scapula, okay? So the exercise the sh with shoulder turn, you can do this at the gym with your cable machine or if you've got a resistance band at home, you can do the same thing. We're just going to make it a little bit more golf oriented. Who says that you can't work out for your golf swing? You know, if you go to the gym, you can certainly tailor things to improve something that you like to do. So what we'll do to start, so I'm adding a band around my knees. It's optional. It does help engage the hips a little bit more, okay? With this, I'll get into, so a lot of times when I do just a, a regular lateral raise, I'll be a little bit more bent over in this fashion. For here, we're actually going to get into a golf setup or golf posture. So first, start as if you're about to hit maybe a seven iron or a, a mid iron. And then you're going to get some tension, really light though. The more weight you increase, it's harder to do and you're going to have to compensate. So from here, instead of just pulling outwards, what I do is I then, or I initiate it with full shoulder rotation. So I let my arm kind of get pulled. It's really a lot easier with a cable machine. And I want those shoulders pointing downwards towards the ball or towards the front of the foot. With my hips, I'm pulling outwards. So with a band or without a band, you should feel like your glutes are activated. And then I'm setting my shoulder blade. So instead of yanking from this position, I then get back to neutral and then I finish with the arm. Now, after I finish with the arm, I'm holding here and then I, I practice the downturn. This is a lot more difficult. You're not gonna get a lot of range of motion, but you're gonna get enough to feel it in all the right places. Back to the setup position arm down, do another rep, then shoulder turn. Okay, So make sure you're keeping in alignment, you're not deviating side to side, your knees aren't caving in, you're not shrugging the shoulder, it's all thoracic rotation. Very, very important. Please, please also do the other side. You know, I get a lot of uh, comments where it's, why well, am I right handed golfer, why would I have to reverse it? You always want some balance in your life and activating both sides will actually give you a little bit more performance as well. So go ahead and give this a try. It's called the lateral raise with shoulder turn. Okay. Do sets of 10 to 15. You can, you can do them in reps. You can also do static holds at different positions to try to get a little bit more muscular endurance and get a little more efficiency in your golf swing. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment. If you have any more suggestions or you're looking to improve different parts of your game, let us know and we can try to craft videos catered to what you think you need 
and then we could build a good library for all of our golfers. We'll see you on the next video.